the words hurry and rush are two words that you can use when you have to get somewhere quickly or do something quickly. There's a deadline or there's a time by which you have to arrive. The simple forms for these verbs are hurry and rush. The past tense forms are hurried and rushed. This ED ending has a T sound, rushed. The past participles are hurried and rushed. And the present participles are hurrying and rushing. Hurry, hurried, hurried, hurrying, rush, rushed, rushed, rushing. Both of these are regular verbs. If you are afraid of being late, you can say, I have to hurry, or I'd better hurry, or if you're with another person, let's hurry. This contraction is let us, but we always just use let's. Let's hurry. When you're with another person and you're afraid of being late, then we've got to hurry or we'd better hurry. This is the contraction for we and had, had better, or we should hurry. If you want to replace hurry with rush, then it sounds like we've got to rush. I think it sounds better to use hurry in a sentence like this. We'd better rush, we should rush. In these two, I think hurry also sounds better. It's not impossible to use rush in a sentence like this, but I think hurry is much better. To reduce a person's anxieties about being late or being behind schedule, say, don't hurry, or you don't have to hurry. There's no need to hurry. In this position, you could also use rush. Don't rush. You don't have to rush. There's no need to rush. Both hurry and rush work well in these kinds of sentences. Both rush and hurry can be used as nouns. In this sentence, there's no rush. The word rush is a noun. It's the subject complement for there. And in this example, hurry is a noun. I'm not in a hurry. This is a prepositional phrase and hurry is a noun. You could also make this affirmative and eliminate not and say, I'm in a hurry. And with rush, you could possibly take no off here and then say there's a rush. Rush hour is that time during the day when people travel to work or come home from work. Rush hour. It's rush hour. I want to beat the rush. In this example, the word rush ends the sentence and you don't need to use our. Just say the rush. The morning rush starts at 7 a.m. The evening rush or the afternoon rush starts at about 4 p.m. Where I live, 
right now it's rush hour and there are a lot of people on the road heading home. In small cities, rush hour is not a big problem and it's easy to get to and from work. 